Number eleven. A judge was working in his room one day when a neighbour ran in and said, "If one man's cow kills another's, is the owner of the first cow responsible?" "It depends," answered the judge. "Well," said the man, "your cow has killed mine." "Oh," answered the judge. Every one knows that a cow can't think like a man, so a cow is not responsible, and that means that its owner is not responsible either. I'm sorry, judge," said the man. "I made a mistake. I meant that my cow killed yours." The judge thought for a few seconds, and then said, "When I think about it more carefully, this case isn't as easy as I thought at first." And he turned to his clerk and said, "Please bring me that big black book from the shelf behind you." Number twelve. When Nasrudin was a boy, he never did what he was told, so his father always told him to do the opposite of what he wanted him to do. One day, when the two were bringing sacks of flour home on their donkeys, they had to cross a shallow river. When they were in the middle of it, one of the sacks on Nasrudin's donkey began to slip. So his father said, "That sack is nearly in the water. Press down hard on it." His father, of course, expected that he would do the opposite, but this time Nasrudin did what his father had told him to do. He pressed down on the sack, and it went under the water. Of course, the flour was lost. What have you done, Nasrudin? His father shouted angrily. Well, father said Nasrudin, this time I thought that I would do just what you told me, to show you how stupid your orders always are. Number thirteen. Nasrudin had lost his donkey. He was going about looking for it everywhere, and while he was looking, he was singing gaily. One of his neighbors saw him and said, "Hello, Nasrudin, what are you doing?" "I'm looking for my donkey," answered Nasrudin. "Don't you know where it is?" asked the neighbor. "No, I don't." "Then why are you singing so gaily? Usually, when somebody loses something, he is sad." "Yes, that is quite true," answered Nasrudin. But you see, I'm not yet sure that my donkey is lost. My last hope is that it is behind that hill over there. If you wait a little, you will hear how I will cry and complain if it isn't there. One winter, Nasrudin had very little money. His crops had been very bad that year, and he had to live very cheaply. He gave his donkey less food, and when. After two days, the donkey looked just the same. He said to himself, "The donkey was used to eating a lot. Now he is quickly getting used to eating less, and soon he will get used to living on almost nothing." Each day, Nasrudin gave the donkey a little less food, until it was hardly eating anything. Then one day, when the donkey was going to market with a load of wood on its back. It suddenly died. How unlucky I am," said Nasrudin. Just when my donkey had got used to eating hardly anything, it came to the end of its days in this world. Number fifteen. Nasrudin's wife was very ill, and at last she died. After a few months, Nasrudin married again. His new wife was a widow. Exactly seven days after he married her, she had a baby. Nasrudin at once hurried away to the market and bought some paper, some pencils, some pens, and some children's books. Then he hurried back home again with these things and put them beside the baby. His new wife was surprised. "What are you doing?" she said. "The baby won't be able to use those things for a long time. Why are you in such a hurry?" Nasrudin answered, "You're quite wrong, my dear. Our baby isn't an ordinary baby. It came in seven days instead of nine months, 
so it'll certainly be ready to learn to read and write in a few weeks from now.'